Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be sharing light on why most people quit affiliate marketing. So why do most people quit affiliate marketing? Why are they not pursuant of working in the capacity as an affiliate marketer for a prolonged period of time? Why do they shirk on doing so? Why do they neglect to do so? Why do they desist, abstain, and refrain from doing so? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Lamentably, much of my dismay, much of my consternation, much of my chagrin, much of my agony, much of my grief, and much of my distress, most people lack a behemoth brand across a multitude of disparate, popular social media channels. And without having that behemoth brand across a multitude of disparate social media channels, they lack a potent marketing vehicle that they can leverage to vector their target market to affiliate marketing offers. They wind up succumbing to investing in pay-per-click marketing campaigns to vector customers or prospective buyers to landing pages in which the prospective customers will be at liberty to either buy the products or forgo buying the products. The problem is if your marketing campaigns are inefficacious, if you are inorganically driving traffic to the landing pages of vendors who sell affiliate marketing products, it's going to be ineffably expensive for you to be an affiliate marketer. You're hoping that you can refer affiliate marketing sales to sellers of affiliate marketing products so that you can earn commissions. However, there's no guarantee that the affiliate marketing revenue that you generate will offset your marketing costs. Your marketing costs on certain keywords may be exorbitant. You're more than likely going to be bidding to have your advertisements embedded on virtual advertisement real estate against major behemoth companies that essentially have unlimited marketing budgets. So it begins a bidding war on the affiliate markers and, and it may not be sustainable if your commissions are infinitesimal and if you suddenly are in affiliate marketing sales. If a customer returns an affiliate marketing product, then your commission may be revoked. Are they irrevocable commissions? Presumably not. The customer is at liberty to return the affiliate marketing product. And even if you referred the sale to the seller of the affiliate marketing product, they may have a 60 to 180 day time frame to return the affiliate marketing product if they are dissatisfied with it. And once the buyer is refunded, you may wind up forfeiting your commissions. So, 
Not only that, if you laid out, if you relinquished a copious amount of money to earn the sale, if you were buying the sale by inorganically driving traffic to a landing page for the affiliate marketing offer, you're not only going to be out of your commission, but you would have squandered and hemorrhaged money on marketing costs. And that is a inherent risk that you take as an affiliate marketer. Now, of course, it's much more of a seamless process to be successful as an affiliate marketer if you have a behemoth of a brand across a multitude of disparate social media websites. But the reality is organically growing a, a behemoth brand across a multitude of disparate social media websites can take three to 15 years in which you strategically are, in which you strategically work hard for at least 12 to 18 hours per day, seven days per week. As you make an earnest attempt to expand your condom reservoir so that you can draw forth a behemoth of a brand across a multitude of social media platforms. Most people are most people are unwilling to ceaselessly, unremittingly, incessantly, strategically work hard for at least twelve to eighteen hours per day, for at least seven days per week, for at least three to fifteen years in order to have a modicum of a chance to attain a behemoth of a brand across a multitude of social media platforms. It is arduous to become a dominant market competitor, even if you compete in a niche user-generated content market. And creating content is highly time-consuming. It drains your mental bandwidth. You need to expend a tremendous amount of time, energy, effort, and mental bandwidth just to have an iota of a chance to be successful as a content creator. But if your content can build traction and transcend into becoming viral status, it can be life altering. Because instead of having to pay a premium price to have your advertisements temporarily displayed or flaunted or showcased on other people's websites. You will have your own virtual advertisement real estate that you can leverage to generate additional streams of recurring revenue. You can embed your affiliate marketing links in the descriptions of your social media posts. You can sell product placements. And you could even earn sponsorship revenue if you could find sponsors who are willing to sponsor your content. And hopefully you could find patrons who are willing to support your content via Patreon by pledging to your Patreon channel. You do not want to just lack content or have a paucity of content and then depend on having temporary, perishable, fleeting advertisements on the websites of publishers to be able to vector customers to landing pages in which they may or may not buy the affiliate marketing products. It is a precarious business model if your pay-per-click marketing campaigns are deemed to be inefficacious and if all the traffic that you generate is inorganic traffic. 
you want your own virtual advertisement real estate. You do not want to leverage the virtual advertisement real estate of publishers for a premium price. Moreover, once your marketing budget is depleted, once it is exhausted, your advertisements perish. They're fleeting, ephemeral, short-lived advertisements. On the other hand, if you have a behemoth brand across a myriad of social media channels, your affiliate links that you embed in the descriptions of your videos may remain in your video descriptions or in the descriptions of your social media posts, possibly in perpetuity, even beyond your lifetime that these social media platforms exist in centuries from now. Hopefully they will. Um, as always, if you are an affiliate marketer and if you embed an affiliate marketing link, in a social media post, always ensure that you fully disclose that you are an affiliate marketer and that you could possibly even earn commissions from qualified affiliate marketing sales. Be transparent with the customers. So. I hope that you deemed this video to be insightful and enthralling. Most people are innately inclined to quit affiliate marketing because they may succumb to a death loss. They lack a behemoth of a brand across a multitude of social media channels to leverage and paying top dollar to temporarily embed their advertisements on virtual advertisement real estate is not conducive to generating wealth, especially if the commissions are infinitesimal and especially if their marketing campaigns are deemed to be impotent, inefficacious, and unavailing. And even if their marketing campaigns are deemed to be efficacious, it's not the quintessential business model because you have to just lay out so much money to inorganically drive traffic to affiliate marketing landing pages and in spite of how much traffic you drive to those affiliate marketing landing pages if the customers are not fond of the product it may not even culminate in you earning any sales or your sales value may be egregiously low if the product is unappealing to most customers and if your marketing costs preponderantly outweigh your commissions, then you're more than likely going to be succumbing to a net loss. And it can be debilitating, agonizing, harrowing, and distressful to hemorrhage money as an affiliate marketer. On the other hand, with most jobs, even minimum wage jobs, you're more than likely going to get paid and not succumb to a net loss. And in s certain contexts, you're better off just not working than you are working a job if you're going to hemorrhage money doing so at a net loss. Because if you were to not work, then you're essentially breaking even, whereas if you succumb to a net loss by working a job that is causing you to relinquish money, then you're going to be in more of a disadvantaged position. So, I hope that you deem this video to be insightful and enthralling. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.